there guys, my name is Danielle, you can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something scary and something that I do not advise you to copy. And I am doing a full face of expired makeup. Whew. I don't think I'm ready for this mentally, I don't think I'm ready for this facially. <laughs> If you don't know, makeup does expire. I don't know how you wouldn't know this, but yes, makeup does expire. It has an expiration date. And if you're wondering how, um, somewhere on your product, there should be something like a jar. And let me show you. There should be some type of jar on the product, and then next to the jar is going to be a number. And that number tells you how long that product is good till. And so then, I'm going to be using products that are not good anymore and show you why they are not good. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see what a full face of expired makeup looks like. So the first thing is to prime our face. I am using this Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer and um, it is very expired. If you see this, if you see there, it doesn't want to move down the jar. Alright, that's great. Just put it all over. Yep. Oh. Next is foundation. And for foundation, I am using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And it is the color NC35. And if you look really, really closely, I am not an NC35. <laughs> I got this about a year and a half ago, and I still have it for some reason. It's still in my makeup collection. <sighs> and, well, now it's time to put it on my face. This is actually one of my favorite foundations, but since it is definitely no longer my color, I could not use it for very long because, you know, there's only one summer here, and then you can only stay that color for so long after that season is over. So first thing, I don't ever remember being this tan or this orange, and also there is a really big smell coming off from this that I do not remember it ever having this weird sort of chemically smell and my eyes are burning a little bit and I'm already regretting doing this okay okay so I don't have any eyebrows that expired so I'm gonna go ahead and do those off camera and I'll be right back okay now that we got the brows in place it is time to conceal the face and hopefully make myself not look so orange and tan and there is still a very strong chemically smell coming from the MAC foundation and I am very scared and my eyes at least stopped watering, but I'm still scared to see what's going to happen with under the makeup. But let's keep going. So for concealer, I have the BH Cosmetics Pro Concealer. And this is actually one of my all-time favorite concealers. It was one of my first purchases from BH Cosmetics. And I'm trying to get it out. And I loved it. It just ended up being way too light. And I do love it because it's very full coverage and it's like super amazing but I ended up not using it all and not very using it well because it's way too light. I got a way lighter color than what I was at the time. And at, right now as well, especially with this foundation. And so then I wasn't able to use it all and I just let it sit there and sadly expire. But it's okay, I got a new one, so we're good. We're just gonna keep on going with this and we're just gonna hope that I'm not gonna burn my face off. All right, now that we got the concealer all blended out, it is time to bronze up the face, even though technically we don't need it because we're already super orange and we're already stealing Donald Trump's brand right now. <laughs> but maybe we can try to fix it. So I'm gonna be using these e.l.f. bronzer and sun kissed glow. And you guys know that I do just love e.l.f. brands in general. Alright, so next is eyeshadow, and for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Love the Revolution palette. It looks like this. There's not a lot of, like, colors to choose from. They're pretty much all shimmers, except for two of the just basic colors, which are probably for, like, the crease and the lid. And I'm pretty sure this is a highlight in it, but I'm not sure. You know what? It was, like, one of my first things that I've ever purchased. And I know it's weird to say that because I've been doing makeup for about two years now. I think it's been two years. Two to three years-ish, maybe. I don't even remember when I started doing it. You know what? Stay in school, kids. <laughs> and yep. 
We're just gonna go in with it and hope my eyeballs don't burn off. So we're just gonna go with a nice subtle look. I'm just gonna use the sort of light cream tan color and just putting it all over my lid. Then what I'm gonna do is dip into sort of like the toupee type, is that the word? Toupee or taupe? Whatever of that type of brown color is, you guys know what I mean, okay? <laughs> And what I'm going to do is just deepen out the outer corner V and then move it into the crease. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice little bronzy sort of copper color and then I'm just going to put this right on the outer corner of the eyelid towards the nostrils or on nose, whatever you want to call it, whatever. I was looking at my nostrils. <laughs> and yep, super flaky. The pigmentation doesn't want to stay on. So we can definitely say it's time for this baby to go. Literally, it's not even staying on my eye. I am literally so mad. And I don't want to use my finger, but I'm going to use my finger because we have to at least try with these products. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to coat that there. All right, that helped a little bit. Still a lot of fallout. But we just got to push through. We got to do what we got to do, you know? All right, now I'm going to take the time to tell you guys that if you have not entered my birthday giveaway make sure to check that link down below so you can watch the video where I talk about it and trust me it's a good one it's a big one you don't want to miss it the rules are super easy make sure to click that link after this video I'm just honestly so glad this is almost over to be honest I'm just so done with this look and so then now for mascara I'm gonna do the Lancome excessive black hype noose drama and if you're wondering whether you can tell mascara is expired or not when you look at the wand, if you see huge clumps into that, let me bring it closer, maybe you guys can tell better. If you see big clumps into that wand, and if they just start clumping more together, that's when you know your mascara need to go. So we're just gonna do a nice little light coat on the lashes. This is actually one of my favorite mascaras besides the MAC in Extreme Dimension. But since this is expired, we don't need her anymore. And we're just gonna do a nice little little coat because I'm scared to put it all over my real lashes and I don't wanna get a sty. Okay, the look is almost done. We just needed some highlight and the lips. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Hard Candy Glow All The Way and this is in shade 994. I think that says brunch or pu oh, punch, it says punch. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why I have this highlight. I used it maybe like three times and I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be cool because it has pink and white and you can just do random things with it. But at the time, young Danny didn't understand that white does not go with tan and neither does pink. So she, she got it anyways. And she's really weird. And look at this. I look weird. I just, ugh. I'm already so done with this. Now I just want to go. <laughs> I don't even want to put on my nose, but I got to put on my nose because, you know, we got to complete the look. Last thing is finally are the lips. And I'm going to be using the MAC uh, Liquid Lipstick in High Drama. And we're just going to pray for the best. Hopefully this is going to be okay. Okay, and the lips are on. If you can see closely, the lips are sort of inconsistent. It's more darker on the edges and then lighter on here. I tried the best I could, but that's as best as we're gonna get. That is it for the full face of expired makeup. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I post every Friday. And of course, this is my birthday month, so that means there's gonna be another video every week. Hopefully, if I'm doing this right, we're, we're gonna try, we're gonna see it, we're gonna hope, okay? <laughs> and also, if you are not already entered into my birthday giveaway, I'm gonna leave that link down below so you can watch the video and see what the giveaway is. All right guys, let this all be a lesson to you. Please pay attention to your expired makeup. Make sure you look at that little jar and make sure how many months the makeup is good for so that you know because Honestly, I feel like my face is burning and I can't tell if it's either the eyeshadow or the mascara But my eyes are starting to water a little bit and I just need to take all of this off immediately Please do not try this at home. Please once your makeup expires, please 
throw it out or destroy it or anything do not give it away do not sell it please don't do any of that okay the makeup has an expiration date just like food does just like any other thing does okay you need to throw it out okay i could not stress this enough you do not want to end up with more breakout or more scars on your face or anything like that so please pay attention to expiration dates <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i love you so much if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so i know and then subscribe to my channel so that you can find more content like this here Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much i love you so 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 much and i will see you next time Okay, my face is on fire. Nope, nope, no. Okay, it's on fire. I need, yep, nope, time to go. Nope.